hi guys welcome to my channel in case you are new here my name is Chidima. you are highly welcome and for you my old subscribers thank you for tuning in back thank you for always coming back thank you for your support so in today's video i want to show you how i made this bob wig without burning the tips without opening the ends and if you're interested in seeing how i made this keep watching i will see you guys again so guys i have already started braiding this week because i have a wig like this i wish i would put to the put the links in the description box so for the back of this wig i use cord five why for the middle i use cord three sorry cord four then from the middle to the top i use cord three the braiding hair i use for this wig is um, expression braiding hair as you can see I've already braided part of the hair just want to quickly show you how to how I braided the hair in case you don't know how to braid the hair but the main purpose of this video is to show you how to seal the tips or the ends of your braids without using burnt method i have um, i have i did a video like this some time ago a bob wig but that one i use burnt method for the tips which some of you suggested that i should try another method that the burnt method um, snacks clothes you understand so i decided to try this one to show you another method you can see your bob wig to make your not to make um you uh, make, make it not make it to snack um clothes you understand that this method is better than the burnt method yes because the burnt method i discovered that it snacks um the ends the tips snack um clothes so i said to do this one that is better and is smoother so the method i use is hot iron or yes it's hot iron um sealing method so i want you to stay to the end of this video so you will see how i achieve the ends to look beautiful without using any form of any bond any fire on it so guys stay tuned and keep watching i will come back again
also guys i already i've already cut the braids halfway and i discovered that the length the measurement i use for the length of the bulb is too long so i went ahead to wear it on my head let me put it here don't do like don't be like me best way and easiest way that's the best and easiest way for you to get the accurate length of your bulb length is to wear it on your head or you get a model to wear it for you while you measure out where you want the where, the, where, where you want the length of the bulb to be so it, uh, it was after going that far, cutting and sealing and cutting it that far, I discovered that the length was too long because I don't want this bob width to be that long. I have a specific length I want the little bob width to be. So it's after it was after wearing it on my head that I got the right length. So I'm going back now to reseal and cut the braids again. As you can see clearly, what I'm using is this hot iron, I think, is what they call it, but I call it hot iron. I use it to seal, just to place, how do you do it is, place the hot iron or the stretcher, hair stretcher also, place it to the point you, wear, you want your braids to stop. Once you press it, just place it there and hold it for a while. You know this canicalon hair is made of um, a plastic substance or so, something like that. Because I discovered that once you bring it close to heat, it melts. So what this stretcher does is to melt and at the same time seal the braids. So anywhere you place the stretcher, it will automatically melt that part and seal it. So after melting and sealing that part, you cut off the excess um, braids. It's very simple you don't need any other thing and after this method you don't need to put the braids in hot water again because as you can see that it is already bobbing out on its own without doing any i did not do any i did not um tongue it i did not do anything just sealing and cutting that's all the bob will come out then after sealing and cutting you can go ahead and you know trim the hair Please do not put hot water. Once you put hot water, everything the bob it will not have that bob shape again. It will straighten out. Did you understand? So guys, just keep watching. This method is very simple and it's self-explanatory. Just place it the way I'm showing you. Place it for a while. Make sure that it is melted and sealed properly before you cut it. Because if it is not melted and sealed properly cut it the bread will start unraveling from that place so make sure that the braids are well sealed and and uh, before you cut them so this point i'm showing you where the colored uh, rubber is is where i measure you know i say i said i measured the hair before on my head i measured the back and also the front so the few braids after my ear i don't want them to be the same length with the ones at the back so I use this um, colored uh, rubber band to mark out where I want the, the, that part to start. Stop. Yes, I continue that method following it. You don't need to. If you want your own to stop and descend, everything to be the same length, it's up to you. I don't want my own to be the same length. But I'll keep using the same method, taking it one after the other. I like to take my time. I like to take time observe everything you know i pay attention to details while doing my work as you can see i did not even do anything to just seal and cut the bulb just formed on its own so guys keep watching and again if you have not subscribed yet to my channel i'm begging you please subscribe okay hit the subscribe button it is absolutely free just turn down on the um, touch the subscribe button and touch it yeah touch it have you done that Thank you very much for subscribing and also don't forget to touch that bell icon beside the subscribe button turn it on so that you will not miss my new post you will get notified whenever i post a new video okay and also if you have watched till this moment i really appreciate your time and support please don't forget to like this video okay like the video share this video comment what you think about this week and again i want to beg you guys again please if you see an ad pops out on my on your screen please do not skip the ads 
that's the only two way of showing me support and it will go a long way and i really appreciate i will never take your support for granted keep supporting me i'm seeing all your support i'm very very grateful so guys after making this part i'm going to do the other part of camera then also trim the hair you know you have to trim the hair to look good to need good look neat if there is another method or any way you can trim hair please let me know let's interact in the comment section okay and again if you're interested in this wig or if you're interested in any of my wigs please do check my description box i'm going to drop my contact there check my description but there's a column that says to order a wig in my description box please contact me through the link and um, through the contact i'm ready to take your orders okay and also if you're interested in any of my products apart braided where i make closures at the same time i make frontals for braided wigs please use that same contact to reach me or you can email me yeah guys so this is what this part looks like i'll go off camera and do the other part then trim the hair and come back and show you the finished look so guys this is what the hair looks like on my head yeah so what you guys think about this wig let me know what you think in the comment section and again if you have any question please don't forget to drop it in the comment section as usual i will be there to answer your question yeah so guys i am grateful to you if you have watched this video till this moment i'm very very grateful thank you very much for sticking with me to this moment yeah so this is what this week is looking like what do you guys think can you can see the ends they look so beautiful so clean so smooth so guys i'm going to leave you here for now i'll see you guys again in my next video till then bye